guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video. And in today's video, I know it's pretty late, but I was going to go ahead and do my boxy charm. If you look at everybody's boxes, a lot of people said that this month was their favorite box. Boxy charm pretty much did it right this month. Came with five full size products, and all the products were really good this month. And there was like a couple surprises that people thought that you know that they wouldn't really put that in a boxy charm, but they did. The theme of this month is afterglow. And I think before I do my boxy charm, since everybody's seen it, I want to talk about a few products that I have recently picked up. If you watched some of my previous videos, I talked about how I was going to be trying out Kylie Cosmetics. And I tried it out, and I'm not actually, I'm not a fan of it. Kylie came out with her Valentine's Day collection, and it had palettes and blushes and highlighters and brushes and all sorts of things. But the thing that really stuck out to me the most was... Her version of the Sela Magnificent Glitters. I love those. I feel like those are the best thing. They are very user friendly. You can't really mess up on them. And they just look really wet and blinding on the lids. So like I said, Kylie came out with her version. And the shade is Roses Are Red. And it's this really pretty pink. This was so... What's the word for it? It looks white when you apply it on your lids. So what I did was I applied it. And then I ended up putting like pink and gold glitter all over my eyes. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm using the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. I did not like this at all. And when you swatch it on your hand, it comes out that really pretty pale pink shade that I was like looking for. That I love to use those colors on the lids. That's one of my favorites. But this was not it. I had to do a lot of work with using this. I had to pack on a lot of different shades because this was just a fail for me. But like I said, when I swatch it, it looks really nice. But just applying it to the eyes is not what I thought at all. The seal ones are definitely better and they are cheaper than the Kylie ones. I think with shipping and everything, I ended up paying $28 for this, which is such a waste because I will not use this. I do not like this at all. But that was my first Kylie Cosmetics purchase. Only because this was the thing that really stuck out to me the most. I wanted something different if I was going to purchase from her brand because I have so many palettes as is. I didn't really need to keep like getting more palettes, especially of colors that I already have. So I ended up going with something that I thought would be worth it and sadly it wasn't. So again, this is the Kylie Glitter in the shade Roses are Red and this was from the Valentine's Day collection. And then today while I was out, I ended up going to Ulta and I picked up two, I picked up a blush palette and then just a normal size blush. I actually thought that this one that I'm about to talk about, I didn't think that it was supposed to be out yet, but I saw it in store. They didn't have that many left. This is the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. I am someone that I really do have a thing for NARS blush palettes. I feel like NARS, just their whole vibe kind of reminds me of New York. And if you've been here a while on my channel, then you know that I love New York. But when it comes down to it, did I really need another NARS palette? No, I have a lot of their blush palettes, but I feel like it's like a limited time thing. A lot of people really go for those, especially if you're a collector. This is the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette, and this is the packaging on it. I saw this on Instagram, and I thought that it wasn't supposed to be out yet. Then when you open it up, you have a highlighter, two bronzer shades, and then three blushes. And this is what it looks like. I will say that this one is a lot different than their other blush palettes because they didn't put Orgasm or they didn't put Laguna in there, which is usually what they put because that is their two cult favorites. But this is the first thing I picked up. And then if you watched a previous haul of mine, I talked about the Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection. And the thing that really stood out to me in that collection was the blushes. I feel like a lot of people thought that just because... A lot of them was like really gimmicky. They came out with so many oils that when you put it on, it's like glitter. And who who really wants that? But this is the one that I ended up picking up. This is called Cherry Bomb. And it looks like this. When you open it up, it has a blush shade. And then it has more of a highlighter. And if the highlighters are too deep, a lot of people just mix them and use it as a blush chopper. So it gives you like that glowy blush. I really like these. Like I said, I wasn't a fan of the whole collection of Too Faced. There was like hits and misses, but overall it wasn't that bad. But like I said, these were what really stood out to me and I just love these. That was pretty much everything that I'd picked up recently. Other than that, I think I'll go ahead and start with the boxy charm. I contemplated whether or not I really wanted to upload a boxy charm video because there are so many videos out for February's box and I know pretty much everybody knows all the variations that have been out. Even though there is so many of these videos already up, I thought I'd go ahead and upload it just because. This is how the box came. Obviously, mine is already open. And the theme of this was Afterglow. I got variation one, if you are curious. The first product that I saw that came in the box 
was a bronzer from Pretty Vulgar. It just says bronzed bait on the back. This is a very pigmented bronzer. I have used it. I had a little trouble blending it out. I'm not going to lie, but when I did get it blended out, I really did like it. Like I said, it is a deeper shade, but it does work for my skin tone. And it is a powdery bronzer. It does pick up a lot of powder. And if you are curious, this bronzer retails for $32. The next product that was in my box, which was in everybody's box, was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This retails for $24, and this is a full size. So this was in everybody's box. Then the next product that I got in my box, this was out of like different variations, so not everybody got this. But this is the Nude Stick, and you can pretty much use these for anything. But the shade is like a bronze glittery shade. It's very pretty, but obviously I think that I would only use this on my eyes. But they are intended that you can use them for other things. You can get different shades and like you can get one for contour. You can get one for like highlight underneath your eyes. But this is one that I'll definitely just use for my lids. It's very pigmented. And the Nude Stick retails for $24 as well. And then I feel like everybody wanted this in their box. And me included, like this is the variation that I wanted because it came with the Sol de Janeiro. If I'm saying that right, this is the body cream in Coco Cabana. This is what it looks like. And I'm reading this off the card. This retails for $20. This smells to me like coconut and coffee mix. And if you're from around here or like, I know like people all over the world can see this. So you may not have these types of candy bars in your space. But if you've ever had a Zagna, that's what it smells like to me. I was smelling this and I was like, this scent is very familiar to me. And that's what it reminds me of. It smells very, very nice. And I feel like if this is something that I did go through, which I'm sure that it will be, I will definitely purchase another one. I'm not really into creams or like body creams, but this one really has really grabbed my attention just because of the smell alone. So this is something that I highly recommend. And I know that you can get this at Sephora and recently they have brought their way into Ulta. And then the last thing that was in my box was the No Pore Bloom Primer from Touch and Sew. And it looks like this. This is a full size and it retails for $18. You can pick this up at Sephora. Something that I really do love about this primer, it does make a difference. A lot of people don't use primers because they say that it doesn't really make a difference in their makeup application. And I agree with that. But on some cases, I disagree. And this is one of them. This primer is very, very nice. It's a silicone based primer. But the unique thing about this primer is... When you first apply it, it feels like just a moisturizer. And then when you start rubbing it into your skin, it starts feeling like that silicone feel. I feel like it really does make a difference and it makes my makeup just go on better. So this is something that I will start repurchasing and I like it because it's not as expensive as my other primers that I've used before. Like I said before, it retails for $18. And I just love the way this makes my face look and how it feels on my skin. So I really do like this. But other than that, that was my boxy charm for February. I don't have any updates to tell you guys in this video, except for the fact that I had pink hair. And when you saw me last, I had dirty blonde hair with horrible roots. But other than that, that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It honestly means the world to me. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.